and today I'm going to be working on our small size everyday tea. I'm using Sprightly Yarns Acrylic Worsted, which is a great affordable yarn, and you can find the link in the description box for the yarn and the color I'm using for this project is teal. I'll be using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook to work up this pattern and the hooks that I'm using today are from We Crochet, their Radiant Crochet Hook Set and you can get the hooks from a 3.5 up to a 6.5 millimeter and I'll also have the link to these in the description box below. Again, we're going to make a slip knot. Tighten that up on your hook. For our small size, which is a finished 37 inch bust, we'll chain 56. If you want to make the pullover larger, you're going to increase in multiples of six. So adding a six to the 55 and so on. So now for my swatch, I'm just gonna do a small demonstration. So I am just gonna chain 20. So our piece is worked in extended single crochet stitches. So we'll begin by working into the second chain from the hook. So here's our first chain, our second chain. To work an extended single crochet, we go through the chain, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. Go through the chain, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. So work that all the way across your chain. So you should have a total for our small of 55 extended single crochet stitches. So when we get to the end, we'll chain one in turn. And then we're just working back in every stitch. So our chain one is not included as a stitch. So we'll work into this first stitch an extended single crochet. So the solid section of our T is really simple. We're just repeating rows of extended single crochet stitches. So every row will be 55 or however many stitches you have chained. Our PDF does include sizing all the way up to 5X. And I have stitch diagrams, schematics, and all those extra bits in the pattern. So I'm just finishing up here and row two is our wrong side. Row one is the right side. So we'll chain one and turn. So we're now back to the right side of our work. <clears throat> If it helps, you can always mark the right side of your work just by slipping in a stitch marker and that just helps to keep you on track as to what side you're on in the pattern. So now what I want you to do is just continue working your extended single crochet rows until you have a total of 16 inches. and I want you to end on the wrong side. So that will be an even numbered row. Row one, three, five, seven, etc. is our right side and even numbers are our wrong side. 
but you don't really need to specifically keep track of your rows, just knowing that you're finishing on the wrong side and you wanna measure up that you have 16 inches worth of work. Okay, so I've worked extended single crochet stitches until I have 16 inches in length. This could be altered if you want to have your pullover a little longer or even shorter if you'd rather it more uh, crop style. But this is gonna be a nice hip length for your pullover. So next thing we're gonna do is start, start our sleeves and our lace pattern. Okay, so I have my working yarn here. I've ended on my wrong side, so now I have my right side facing. So the pattern begins on our right side. So now what I'm gonna do is from a separate ball of yarn, I'm gonna attach a chain for my sleeve to my left side. So I'm just gonna take my hook off my working yarn and I'm gonna come and join. What I wanna do is make a chain because when I start this lace pattern and chain off, I wanna be able to keep working right across, just continuing to my sleeve. So our lace stitch pattern is worked in multiples of six. The sleeve that I'm making is gonna be a three quarter length sleeve. If you wanna go longer, just increase in multiples of six. So this sleeve length is gonna be about 15 inches. If I were making myself a full length sleeve, I would want to go probably 18 to 19 inches in length, but this can vary from person to person depending on how long your arms are. So I'm gonna chain 60 for my 15 inch sleeve. I've chained a total of 60. So now what I'm going to do is just cut my yarn and fasten off. Just pull your hook through. So now we have this long chain attached. You'll need to weave in that end. So now when I get working this lace stitch pattern, I'm just going to be able to continue right across that chain then I know everything is gonna be even. So now I'm gonna come back over here to my working yarn, put my hook back on, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna chain 60. And now we're gonna work in the eighth chain from the hook. So let's count our chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're gonna work a single crochet. Chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Chain one, we'll skip a chain and work a single crochet in the next chain. Chain five, and then we'll skip three chains. One, two, three, work a single crochet in the next. Chain one, skip a chain, work a single crochet in the next. Now we're repeating this pattern along, so we're chaining five. We'll skip one, two, three chains, and in the fourth chain, a single crochet. Chain one, skip a chain, work a single crochet in the next chain. Chain five. And you're just repeating this all the way along. And I'll meet you up when we get to the body section. Okay, so I've chained five and looking at our work here, we only have one chain remaining. 
and we so we need to skip that chain plus we need to skip these two stitches as well and work a single crochet in the next and we're just repeating our pattern so we're chain one skipping a stitch working a single crochet chain five skipping three chain one skip a stitch single crochet and just continue with your pattern and I'll meet you up when I get across the body and when you get across the body you should be ending with two stitches so we'll chain five one two three four five so we skip the first two stitches the first chain or the last two the first chain and then we work a single crochet chain one skip a chain and a single crochet chain five skip three chains one two three single crochet chain one skip a chain single crochet chain five skip three chains one two three single crochet chain one skip a chain and single crochet and just continue that along your chain so once you get all the way across you should have only two chains left if you don't then go back and recount your chains and your stitches across the body you've maybe just skipped one by mistake or messed up somewhere along the way so go back if you don't have two chains remaining so then we're going to chain two and do a double crochet in that final chain and so now looking back across your work you should have a total of 28 chain five spaces for your small size now the body sections we repeat in increments of six multiples of six so if you're working on a larger size you'll have one additional chain five space in here and if you're making the sleeves the same size as I'm making them you'll have a total of 28 chain five spaces so now we're on to row two of our pattern so we'll chain one turn work one single crochet in the first stitch chain three and now we're going to work a 3dc cluster in our chain one space so every chain one space across we'll be working our clusters so yarn over go through the space pulling up a loop you now have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through two yarn over go back down your into your same space pulling up a loop you now have four loops on the hook yarn over and pull through two yarn over go back down through the stitch again the space again pulling up a loop you now have five on the hook yarn over pull through two now we'll just yarn over and pull through all four loops chain three and in every chain five space across we'll be doing a single crochet in the third chain of the chain five and chain three <clears throat> and now we're back to our cluster so yarn over go through our chain one space pulling up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over go through the space pulling up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over go through the space 
pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all four loops on the hook, and chain three, and work a single crochet in the third chain of our chain five. Chain three, and we're back to a cluster, and you can just repeat this all the way across the entire piece. Okay, and when you get to the end, you're going to want to chain three and work a single crochet in the third chain. One, two, three of that chain five. Okay, so now we can look back at how many puff stitches we have. So on this sleeve, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We should also have ten on this sleeve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And across the body, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So twenty-nine in total. I counted across my chain three spaces and I have 58. And so now we're on to row three of the pattern. So we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm turning my work here. So now what we're going to do is work a single crochet in the third chain of the chain three. Chain one, skipping over our cluster, and then a single crochet in the first chain of the chain three. Chain five. Skipping over this next section of, with our single crochet, and then in the third chain of that chain three, single crochet, chain one, single crochet. So we're setting up our space again to do the clusters on the next row. So chain five, and then work our single crochet in the third chain, the chain three, chain one, skip the cluster, and single crochet in the first chain of the chain three, chain five. And then you can just repeat this all the way across. And then our row four is a repeat of row two. So we end up with a simple two row repeat for our lace pattern. Now our PDF also includes the stitch diagram, the chart, if that is helpful for you. And that will be available, the PDF, the link to the PDF will be available in our description box. So I'm just gonna repeat this across off camera and then I'll meet you up at the end. Okay, so I'm just coming to the end. I've worked my single crochet, chain one single crochet across my cluster, and now we'll chain two and do a double crochet in that final stitch. And now row four is just a repeat of row two. So we begin by chaining one and working a single crochet in the first stitch. And then we'll chain three and work a cluster in the chain one space. Pull through two, yarn over, going back through the space, pull through two, Through two, yarn over, pull through four, and chain three, and work 
a single crochet in the third chain of the chain five. Chain three. And a cluster. two and then pull through all four chain three working a single crochet in the third chain one two three two three and I always like to go through the two loops rather than just one it's a little more secure chain three and a cluster in the next and we're just repeating that all the way across so our clusters are stacking on top of each other and we just repeat row two and three for this lace stitch pattern okay so i'm just reaching the end i'll chain three and single crochet in that third chain of the chain five So now we're just going to keep going with our pattern until we have our desired measurement. So what you want to do if you're making this for yourself, you can measure from your collarbone down to your desired width. This is pretty open. So depending on how far down the chest you want it to come, you can measure for the small I'm going with about five inches for a medium about six but you can definitely just measure on yourself to make sure that it's not too low or you will need to wear a tank top underneath it now this is also going to be your armhole depth so depending on what you need for your arm you may need to go a bit bigger so it's good just to measure and you'll sort of see you will get a little bit of stretch so the arm our sleeve is straight throughout so it will be tightest up at the top here but then loosen up as you get down to your three-quarter length piece so right now I'm measuring I should be measuring about two inches yeah, that's about two. So what I want to do is make that I have a five inch mark. And then once I've worked that up, we can meet back and I'm going to show you how to do the neck opening. Okay, so I finished working up my repeats of my cluster rows and my chain five rows. And what I have done is marked a neck opening. So now you can change this up depending on the size you're working on. The important thing is, is that you have an even number of chain fives on each side or puff stitches. So I thought it was easiest just to count over my puffs, my cluster. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then also count your other side. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I have put my marker in the chain one space of those, or I shouldn't say the chain one space, the puffs, the clusters. So the 12th on each side. So that leaves us one, two, three, four, five in the center here or seven in total if we're counting the ones that we've marked. So depending on the size you're working on, to make this even, you may have more, um, have to do a bit bigger neck opening, which is, which is fine. Okay, so my work is measuring about five and I've got my one, two, three, four, five clusters 
And now you're going to want to begin working your chain five row, which is your row three of the repeat. And you're just going to work across until we're getting to this marker. So let me just pull back chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And we'll complete doing our single crochet, chain one, and a single crochet in the first chain. And then we'll make the chain for the neck opening. So I'm gonna chain 45. Okay, so I've chained 45. And for your repeats here, you would increase this chain in multiples of eight because we're doing for every sort of X space here, we're doing five chains. And then for our clusters, we're doing three chains. So if this, if let's say we had moved this marker here, we would have to chain an additional eight. So I've chained 45 and now what I'm going to do is just remove my marker and do my single crochet chain one, skip the cluster and then just continue working five. chain one and just repeat the row three of the pattern all the way across. So now we have our neck opening made. Okay, so we've ended with our chain two, double crochet in the last stitch, and then we'll chain one and turn. And now we're on to row two of the pattern. So we'll begin by chaining three, working our cluster in the chain one space. all four and chain three and a single crochet in the third chain of the chain five and just work that across until you get to the chain neck opening and then I'll meet you up to show you how we're going to continue across the chain. Okay. So we're coming up to our neck opening. Just going to remove that marker. So in our chain one space we'll do our cluster. And then I'll chain three, one, two, three. So now we'll pretend this is our chain five. So in the third chain, one, two, three, we'll do our single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. So now we need to skip two, th another three chains, one, two, three, and then we'll do, now we'll do our cluster, chain three, one, two, three, And then we'll skip three, one, two, three, and do a single crochet. One, two, three, skip three, one, two, three, and then do the cluster. And just work this across your chain. Two, three. 
coming across, I'm going to remove that marker. It's out of our way. Okay, so when you come to the end of your chain, sort of what it's looking like. So we've made one, two, three, four, five clusters. One, two, three, four, five. So they should match up. And you should have two chains remaining and then we have our single crochet and we do another cluster in our chain one space. So let's chain three and then work our cluster in the chain one space. Pull through, chain three, and then we go back to our regular pattern. So work a single crochet in the third chain of the chain five. Chain three, and then work a cluster. So you can just repeat this all the way along now the rest of our piece. And so now we're easily just going to go right back into our repeat of row two and three. And we want the next half now of our pullover to match the first half. So we want to make sure that we have five rows with our cluster stitches of lace pattern worked. And then I'm going to meet you up again to show you how to begin doing that extended single crochet pattern down the rest of the piece. Okay, so I have been working at my lace off camera. So now if we take a look at our lace piece and I'm gonna measure, so we have 10 inches without stretch. So what I have worked up is I have done my cluster stitch rows and then I've done one more row with our chain five spaces. So I've marked here. What you want to do is take a look at your piece. Our solid section is 55 stitches and it goes between these open gaps here. So if you count your open gaps, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten or those are, would be like the chain five spaces. So 10 by, I'll go through the math after. So I have 10 and then I have nine of our cluster stitches. So if you just follow your gap here, we know that we need to work our solid section between these markers. So I've marked that off. So now I'll just go through the math here quickly with you. So I have 10 ch chain five spaces and nine clusters. So three extended single crochets per section. So for our chain five spaces, 30 stitches. For our clusters, 27. That works out to 57. And we know that we only need 55 stitches. So instead of putting three stitches here and here, we're only going to put two. So for whatever size you're working on, that's just a quick way just to kind of how you figure out how to work across. So we're going to join in to this chain space. Work an extended single crochet so we've worked two and then in the single crochet we'll work an extended in the chain one space an extended and then in the next single crochet an extended single crochet and now for every chain five space, we're going to work three extended single crochets. So three, and then we have a single chain one space single. So three extended 
single crochets in those stitches and spaces. So that's how we're going to work all the way across. So I'm going to work and then when I get to my last section, I'll meet you up again. Okay, so I've worked all the way across and I've ended with only two extended single crochets in the last chain five space. So I have 55 stitches. Now we'll chain one and turn. And we're just working extended single crochets in every stitch across. And you're just going to keep working until you have this piece equal to your other solid section. So 16 inches worth of work. And you want to end on your right side. I just wanted to give you a visual of how my piece looks all pinned and blocked. It's really important to block your piece. So I'm going to pop up a little graphic that will just show you the measurements for our small size pullover as to what you need to block. And once you've completed, completed seaming, you just want to weave your ends. So always when you're weaving, you're going one way. And then you need to go back in the opposite direction. Now I've put my sweater so that our right side is out now. So all the seamings on the inside. And to finish it off, I just want to finish a nice single crochet border just along the bottom. You could dress it up with something a little bit more fancy, but I think that I'm just going to go ahead and work a plain single crochet border around. You could also leave it as is. But I think finishing it off leaves a nice clean edge along the bottom. So we'll just single crochet all the way around. So once I've worked all the way around, I've just slip stitched in that first single crochet to join. You could leave it at just the one, but I think I'm going to do one more round of single crochet to finish off the bottom of mine. Okay, so I've worked all the way around and I have 110. I've been working 110 stitches, which is just double. Your 55 plus 55 is 110. Then you can fasten that off. And weave in that end. Okay, so now I want to do an edging around the bottom of the sleeve. So find your seam where you've seamed your sleeve together and that's where we're going to join in to start working around. And 
and then we're going to work a single crochet in that first space. Then we're going to work two single crochet in our bigger gaps. One single crochet here, one single crochet here, and in the gap we'll put two, and you're just wanting to evenly space around the sleeve. The big gaps adding two. And you'll want to put one here and one in there. You just want them to really evenly just go around. So the stitch count itself isn't super important. You just don't want your sleeve um, pulling in too tight or bunching out too much. So just try to evenly space around those stitches and just make sure that you have the same number on each sleeve so one doesn't look odd compared to the other one. Slip stitch in your first single crochet to join, chain one, and then again we'll work around. And when you get done you just want to fasten off and then weave in those ends.